Holy Spirit, we welcome you. You are the one that we want. You are the one that we desire. Come, come Holy Spirit. Pour out your spirit, God. Thank you for each person that's here today, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the anointing. Thank you that from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, that the very breath of heaven is blowing over them to transform them, God, to your word today, Father. Thank you. Oh, passion, desire, consuming fire of love in this place. Open the floodgates of heaven and pour out your love in this place. Release joy, release love, release the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, you're such a good Father. We worship you, God. We love you, Father. We hear you today, God. Open our eyes to see, open our ears to hear. Take us deeper, take us deeper into you, beloved Father. Oh, that we would know you face to face. Thank you, Father, for releasing blessing, God. The blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob makes each one rich. Makes each one rich today, Father. And it adds no sorrow. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Breath of heaven, open portals, visitations of heaven, dreams and visions. Thank you, Father. Oh, but most of all, thank you for teaching us to love as you do, Lord. Thank you, Lord. First Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Father, we come to you today and we say, teach us to love as you love. Teach us how to love as you love. Show us how to love you, God.
I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. And though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me, profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is it kind. Love does not envy, does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Oh, Father, we come and we ask you, Jesus, that we would love as you, that we would walk in the spirit of truth. Thank you, Father, for your love today, God. It's your love, your truth that sets me free.
had faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love.
that the dead are rising. Resurrection power in this hour as you consume us with your fire. Fire of love, fire of desire. Move us into this passion. Romance us, God. You are beloved. We call out to you. Come. Pour out your spirit, Father. Come. Release power from heaven. Resurrection power from heaven. The strength that raises those from death.
breakthrough, breakthrough for your people, God. You're unlocking the chains. And Lord, you know every and each and every one by name. Pour out your spirit, God. This is the hour for a breakthrough. We love you, God. Thank you that you are moving and you are touching lives and opening blind eyes today now that you are touching every person that's listening to this CD anointed from heaven, flames of fire, mantles of desire and passion that they have never known, but they want touch from heaven and they'll never be the same and they're not alone. Pour out your spirit. We believe your promises are true. More of you and less of us, Father. Thank you that we have eyes to see and ears to hear, to dance with you into our destiny of miracles, for the impossible is made possible today. Even from one touch from heaven, we are never the same. Thank you for sending forth your word and healing your children because you love them, God. Thank you for healing. Pour out your
kind of faith I want a supernatural grace I want to run the race Fight the fight I will not give up I won't give up We are warriors, God And we are ready for fight and battle, God We wrestle not against flesh and blood But against principalities and powers of darkness We are ready, God
immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he was sat there like a jasper, and a sardius stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, an appearance like an emerald. Father, we come, and we ask to see you in your holy splendor, the majestic of your beauty, God. Open our eyes to see you, God. Open our eyes to see the beauty of your holiness. Oh, we respond to the invitation. See what they see. 
worthy God, and you deserve honor, Father. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their thrones before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you are created all things, and by your will they exist, which were created. Father, we thank you for this creation, Father. We thank you for the wonder, the wonder, spectacular things that you do, Father. Lord, that you are holy and majestic, and you are worthy of our praise, God. We worship you, for you are truly holy and beautiful. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is yet to come. You are worthy, Father. We ask that we would more understand your power in this hour, God, that we would begin to see you face to face in your holiness and your splendor and your majestic beauty. Oh, Jesus, we long to know you and the beauty of your splendor and holiness.
Shine for your light has come The glory of the Lord is upon you Arise, shine for your light has come The glory of the Lord is upon you Arise, shine for your light has come The glory of the Lord is upon you Arise, shine for your light has come The glory of the Lord is upon you Arise, shine for your light has come The glory of the Lord is upon you
For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. So we come to you today, Lord. We seek your face. For we know that you have a plan for us, a future for your people. Father, that your plans are to prosper us, And God, even in a dark world and when we're broken, Father, you're still there. I thank you, Lord, for the people that don't have anyone that they can turn to you. Oh, Lord, that you're a consuming fire of love and you will touch them and make them whole. I thank you, Father, that your plans for them are to prosper in prosperity. Father, I thank you that you know the desires of their heart and as they delight themselves in you, you will give them the very desires of their heart. Your plans are so good, God, and we thank you. but that you would direct our steps if we acknowledge you in all your ways. Father, today we acknowledge you. And Lord, we thank you for directing our steps for the steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. And there's that one that lost direction, God, and you're making the crooked places straight in their life today, Father. Thank you for touching them and making them whole. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have good plans for them plans to prosper them. Your ways are higher, your ways are greater, we will follow you. Your ways are higher, your ways are greater, we will follow you. Your ways are higher, your ways are greater, we will follow you. Your ways are higher, your ways are greater, and we will follow you. Father, you make it possible. Father, miracles, oh, the impossible made possible, God. Thank you for all the hearts and the lives that you're touching now, God. Thank you, Father, for those who don't know you that you're bringing salvation to. For all they have to do is call on your name, Jesus. All they have to do is turn from their ways to receive you, God, to repent. And Father, to realize that there's a Savior that came to save them from their sins. God, thank you for your plans that never end. Thank you for the destiny that you hold. Oh, the lives, Father, the future untold. But yet, God, you hold the key to unlock the heavenly mysteries. Thank you, Father, for your plans are so good. Oh, when you call upon his name, you will not be ashamed. Father, 
I thank you for that life that's being saved and touched now. I thank you for the healing that's taken place now. I thank you for the eye that was blind that's being healed to see now. Thank you, Father, that your plans are good today and your plans are for healing in every way, Father, that you desire to prosper your children, that you desire us to have the abundant life for you have come that we have the abundant life. Thank you, Father, for your plans to prosper us in this season, God, and touch the lives of those who don't know you, God. to sleep. Thank you, Father, that your plan is not anxiety, that your plan is not fear, for anxiety in the heart weighs it down and causes depression. And even now you're breaking off anxiety and depression. For your peace surpasses all understanding, and the rest you give is so sure. Father, we thank you for this peace and rest, that we can rest in you and know that our plans to prosper in the season with you will surely come to pass because you're not a man that you can lie nor the son of man that you should repent so father we thank you that we can trust in you so i will not be afraid i will come to you i will receive the plans and the promises that you have for me because i But you have prepared for those who love you and are called in accordance to your plan. Thank you, Father, for your plans. So I will ask and I will receive what you've promised me. You are good, you are good, you are faithful to me. You are good, you are good to me. faith and not by sight you light the way so I will seek you and I will find you and I will love you
Psalms 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lies waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. 